Just like fingerprints, your eye color is unique. It can even affect the way you perceive light and make your vision one of a kind. To understand how this is possible, you gotta figure out how the eye color is formed. This is the iris, the colored part of the eyeball. The iris contains pigmentation, and its content determines what eye color you have. Every human has a slightly different amount of pigmentation. That's why you won't find two people with identical eye colors. Three specific genes in your body are responsible for melanin levels and determine pigmentation. Blue and green-eyed people have less melanin in their iris. And those who have more melanin have darker eye colors, like brown and hazel. Some rare people have beautiful deep black eyes, but this is only an optical illusion caused by the abundance of melanin. Pure black iris doesn't exist in nature. Although these eyes look very dark, they're actually dark brown. Studies have proved that eye pigmentation impacts your vision. No matter how dark or light your eye color is, people with lighter eye colors are more sensitive to light, which may cause them to feel uncomfortable on sunny days. If you have light eye color and have to squint when you go outside, don't forget to put on sunglasses. Your irises contain less pigment that serves as protection from the sun's rays. But since melanin acts like natural sunglasses, you have better night vision compared to dark-eyed people. On the contrary, if you have darker eye color, your eyes can cope with bright light better during the daytime. Dark-eyed people should feel more confident while driving at night because they don't get blinded by car headlights that much. But that's no reason to throw away sunglasses. You still need them to protect your dark eyes from UV rays. The most unusual and rarest eye color is red. Usually, albinos carry this rare feature because their irises are transparent due to the lack of melanin. Blood vessels give a reddish tint to the eyes, and in some cases, the red mixes with the blue color and creates a beautiful and extremely rare purple color. Of course, such eyes need careful protection from bright light. Your eye color probably also impacts your sports performance. Researchers from the University of Louisville claim that blue and green-eyed students perform better at self-paced tasks in games like golf, bowling, or billiards. Dark-eyed students do better at reactive tasks, such as defense or hitting a ball. Estimates suggest that only 8% of people in the world have blue eyes, but this eye color is the most common at birth. Usually, melanin develops over time until it reaches the full adult amount of pigment. That's why your eye color can change over time but not the size of the iris. Unlike your face and most body parts that change significantly during your life, the eyes and iris have one stable size and shape, no matter how old you are. The average diameter of the iris amounts to 0.5 inches. It's extremely rich in all sorts of ridges, specks, rings, and folds, which are established genetically. Usually, the pattern of the iris doesn't fully form until the age of two. These patterns are really unique. Even the pattern in your left eye is different from your right eye, as well as from anyone else's eyes on the planet. The inability to distinguish colors, also known as color blindness, affects around 8% of males and 0.5% of females. But colors themselves aren't as stable and objective as they might seem. Multiple tests have shown that people experience colors differently, depending on many factors, such as geographical location, language, and gender, to name a few. It means you can enjoy the same sunset with your friend and see completely different colors without even knowing it. A human mouth is pretty unique as well. You won't find two identical sets of teeth even among identical twins. That's because the shape depends on how each person is using the jaw. Even the tiniest habits you used to have many years ago, such as lip biting, affect the formation of your teeth and the uniqueness of your dental impression. You've probably noticed that lipstick prints on a napkin or a mirror are always slightly different depending on who left them. Studies of both females and males revealed that lip print patterns for each individual are unique. They didn't reveal any special traits based on the gender factor. So, this individual pattern of the tiny folds on your lips is one of your major biometric signatures. The tongue is one of the strongest muscles in your body, and its appearance is unrepeatable. This organ contains more than 10,000 taste buds, and each bud is filled with microscopic hairs. Their job is to sense your food, distinguish tastes, and send information to your brain to initiate the appropriate digestion process. During your life, all those tiny bumps and ridges on your tongue create a special individual pattern. That's why experts say that tongue prints are as unique as fingerprints. Perhaps in the future, 
When this topic is better investigated, tongue biometrics will become a common thing. This doesn't seem to be the most convenient way to verify your identity, though. Each human has a unique voice formed by many factors. They include the full history of how you've learned to speak and sing, the length of your vocal tract, and the way you use your voice every day. Although some talented actors can perfectly fake the voices of different people, including celebrities, special computer technologies can still determine the difference. Palm prints are as unique as your fingerprints. Over the years, the lines may change, appear, and even disappear, but the pattern itself, with all its tiny details, remains your unique personal signature. Your fingerprints don't match your toe prints. You have 10 completely different fingerprints in 10 different toe prints. Each toe is different from all your other fingers and toes. This amazing variety of patterns develops before birth while you're in the stage of a fetus. The shape of your outer ear gets fully formed by the age of 10. Ears may grow larger as you age, and gravity can make them sag a little bit. Female ears tend to have a smaller size compared to males. But still, the shape of your ears with all their bumps and ridges remains so unique that biometrics experts consider this body part one of the best ways to identify personality. They use special software to scan and recreate the scale and position of an ear. These studies have revealed a 99.6% accuracy, just like the good old fingerprints. Gait analysis is another biometric technology to identify people. Your gait is shaped by many factors from your birth to the present day. This includes the way you sleep, stand, walk, run, and pretty much all the body movements you've ever made. The gait is unique simply because each person's fate is unique. Of course, it's quite difficult to distinguish the individual features of one's gait without special training. But you'll probably recognize the footfall of your best friend or spouse even if your eyes are closed. Your fingers have plenty of receptors responsible for sending messages to the brain. They're as sensitive as your eyes. That's why people have invented so many myths around hands. One of them is about the ring finger on the left hand. It says that people should wear wedding rings on the fourth finger of the left hand because it contains a special vein that carries blood from the left hand straight to the heart. It's called vena amoris. Unfortunately, experts have debunked this romantic myth. All your fingers are equally special since the network of blood vessels in your hands is pretty much similar. The belief originated in ancient Egypt in the western part of the planet adopted this wedding custom. In many countries such as India, Denmark, Norway, Russia, and Bulgaria, people prefer to wear wedding rings on the right hand.